Hello everyone, welcome to TechLingo and today I'm going to show you how you can patch ESXi without Update Manager. So what do you need to patch ESXi without Update Manager? You need PuTTY to remote into the ESXi host and before you remote into the ESXi host you need to enable SSH on the ESXi host. And also you need to find out what is the latest build version or patch available on the VMware website. I'm going to show you how you can do that. And once you find the appropriate version of the patch, you can download the patch from VMware Patch Portal. Alright, you need to go into VMware website and look for the KB article which is 1014508 which says correlating VMware products build numbers to update levels. If you scroll down you can see the build numbers and the installed build numbers, the release date for all the VMware products. Now we are concerned about ESXi 5.5 and you can see here for ESXi 5.5 the latest version is 1892794 which was released on July 1st, 2014 and it is the patch 2 for ESXi 5.5. Since we are running ESXi 5.5 on our host, we are going to download this. Now to download this, you need to go into an, another link which is www.vmware.com forward slash patch mgr forward slash find patch dot portal. Now if you scroll down, you can search by product or you can search by release name or build number or bulletin name. Now I'm going to search by product, so I'll select ESXi 5.5.0 is the version that I'm running on my ESXi host. I'm not going to specify the release date or any categories for security, bug fix or enhancement. I'll simply select all categories and also I'll select all severities and click search. Alright so if you go down here you can see the patches that have been released for ESXi 5.5 so this seems to be the latest one if you scroll down you can see the earlier patches released for ESXi 5.5 but if you come here you can see the build number 1892794 and this correlates to ESXi 5.5 patch 2 so let me go back here I'll select this and I'll click download now and it's going to download since I've already downloaded this patch I'm not gonna download it again so I'm going to click on cancel now before I remote into the ESXi host, I need to enable SSH on my ESXi host. So if you see here, I have uh, two ESXi hosts. One is ESXi 5A, another one is ESXi 5B, and both are running ESXi 5.5.0. On the DCUI of my ESXi host, I'll press F2, and I'll type in the root password and I'll go into troubleshooting options and this is where I have to enable SSH so I'll press enter and SSH is enabled now let's discuss the steps involved in patching an ESXi host without the update manager the first step that you're going to do is to upload the patch to a data store on your ESXi host as I said earlier, I have already downloaded ESXi 5.5 patch 2 on my local machine. So what I'm going to do is I am going to log into the vCenter using the vSphere web client. So let me type in the credentials, Contoso, administrator, and the password. I will go into hosts and clusters and you can see here that I have a production cluster and I have my two hosts added in here and right now I don't have any virtual machines running on this host 
So let me select the first host which is ESXi5A and under related objects I'll click on data stores and you can see here I have my local data store I'll click on I'll right click on it and I'll click on browse files and I am going to upload a file to the data store so now we are going to select the patch file that we have downloaded and that will be ESXi 550-2014-07001.zip file alright so the patch file has been uploaded to the local data store of ESXi 5A now the next step that we have to do is we have to migrate the virtual machines running on that host and put the host into maintenance mode since I don't have any virtual machines running on this host so I can simply go ahead and put the host on maintenance mode so I'm gonna right click on ESXi 5A and I'll say enter maintenance mode I'll confirm the maintenance mode by clicking OK. Alright, so the host is in maintenance mode. Now, the next step is we are going to log into ESXi host from Pari. Now, we are going to navigate to the data store where the patch file was uploaded. So, I'm going to bring up my Pari session and I'll type in the IP address or the host name of my host. A login as root and the root password. Alright, cd vmfs volumes. Alright, let me select the local data store. That is where we have uploaded the patch file. alright okay so you can see here that we can see our patch file now once we are in the directory where the patch file was uploaded now you can either install the patch or update the patch now installing a patch it may overwrite your existing packages and drivers running on that host with the contents of the patch that you're trying to install so by doing this you may put the host into unbootable state if you are using a third-party ESXi image so what VMware recommends is to update the patch instead of installing a patch so updating a patch it basically installs newer contents in a patch including all security fixes so if there is any content on the patch which is of a lower version than the existing packages running on the host will not be applied. So what VMware recommends is to update the patch instead of installing the patch. Alright so like I said patches can be downloaded either in .zip or .vib file and to install a patch this is the command that you are going to run so if you are going to use the .zip file you will say ESXLI software VIB install minus D and the path name to the zip file and if you are going to use the .vib file you will say ESXLI software VIB install minus V and the path name to the .vib file and if you are going to update a patch it's basically the same command but instead of saying install here you'll say update in my case I am going to update the patch because that is the recommended way of patching an ESXi host so I will type ESXLI software VIB update minus D alright so again the command is ESXCLI software VIB update minus D and then the path of the patch file 
it seems to have completed updating the patch so if you scroll up here you should should be able to see the installation result it says the update completed successfully but the system needs to be rebooted for the changes to be effective so reboot required true and you can see the VIBs that it has installed and removed and skipped all right so let me go ahead and reboot the host all right so you can see here my host has rebooted now if you look at the build number it is saying 1892794 so this is ESXi 5.5 patch 2 so let me come back into vSphere web client I'll do a refresh all right so it's still in maintenance mode so so I'm gonna exit out of the maintenance mode okay so this is how you patch ESXi host without the update manager thanks for watching this video for more videos please subscribe to my channel